these are some red flags as well, correct? Correct. So uh, temperature changes, uh, neonatal sepsis, you could have um, either a high temperature, uh, which um, usually is more than 38 degrees Celsius or more than 100.4 Fahrenheit, uh, or they could also present with low temperature. Uh, that's another one that usually parents may not be um, uh, looking out for. So low temperature is defined as uh, less than 36 de degrees Celsius okay. or less than 98.6. Uh, so, uh, you have low sorry, blood sugar 96, as well. 96.8. Low blood sugar is another one, uh, reduced sucking, seizures. I believe we have another graphic that shows us jaundice. Jaundice is very common as well for uh, Right, um, So yeah. how are this is all related to, um, to, to these symptoms? So, I mean, going back to those uh, symptoms, the respiratory symptoms are very important. Right. Uh, so any baby who's in respiratory distress, mm -hmm. it could be a sign of uh, an infection. So respiratory distress uh, could mean grunting. Uh, could mean nasal flaring, which means that the uh, baby would be opening the nostrils to be able to get more uh, air. They could have what we call subcostal retractions, uh, which means they're using accessory muscles in order to breathe. So right. you can see their ribs. It's, they're having uh, a hard that, time breathing. Yeah, hard time breathing. Basically, that could mm -hmm. be a sign of infection, uh, especially in full-term babies. In preterm babies, they could have what we call apnea or cessation of breathing. So they just stop breathing. Oh, goodness. So, okay, so th this is my question. How scary for any parent or, or that doesn't know these symptoms or these symptoms don't manifest themselves. So are there early signs that as a neonatologist you look for? So I usually tell the parents that anything, uh, any behavior in the newborn that deviates from their usual pattern right. uh, should raise suspicion and a red flag and they should be um, uh, on the, I mean, um, seeking medical attention. Right. Either call your pediatrician or go to the emergency department if there's any, uh, if your baby is just not acting right. That is enough a reason for us to uh, basically do the necessary workup and uh, likely admit the baby to the NICU and do it for that.